There we go. Now I have a mature neural stem. So yeah. So biggest key though, guys, remember, remember, I tried to do it with the internet connected. And so you can manually change the time, but No Man's Sky, the game, will connect to the internet to verify everything. And it'll say, no, 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 your time is incorrect. So that's why you need to disconnect your internet when you do it. Oh, wait a minute. I wasn't paying attention. What are we supposed to do? Follow the call of the void. Oh, but I, but as best as I can understand it, I should await further contact from the egg for, or those who would call. Okay, so let's actually go into space and see what happens. The void egg is humming on a strange frequency. Await contact. So let's see what's going on here. I have a feeling that we should uh, pulse when we're in space. So let's do that. Boom. Exit pulse to examine. What's going on here? Oh, we are getting contacted again, so let's do it. The metal masters bind us no more. We are free. We may swim, fly, live, and die. The void egg quivers as the little teen music of the alien ship fills my cockpit. It is a motion of recognition. I can accept it. The song of the ship, the creature, fills my starship, spilling from circuit to circuit, flooding the computer. As the music fades, I hear a faint echo, a gently humming response, or a gently hummed response, the void egg. Oh, interstellar coordinates received, so now we have to go to a different system, so let's hit the galaxy map. Oh, the system is really close by, but it's in a blue system, so I would I would recommend having an indium drive or some kind of a drive that we can get to other stars other than just the yellow ones. So let's hit it. Oh god, of course there's a uh, an attack going on right now. Really? Well, let's get this done and out of the way that way I can actually keep going. All right, it did that. Thank God. Examine the egg in the inventory to learn of its requirements. Yeah, I know I did it already. So let's, uh... Oh, wait, wait, wait. We just saved this... Okay, yeah. When you save a uh, freighter, it wants to talk to you. Dun, 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 we're good. Okay. So, it says examine the egg in your inventory. Let's see what's going on with this. Okay. Stirring void egg. When touched, conjures a powerful vision of a dust-covered world of extreme storms. So it's a dusty sto dusty planet with extreme storms. Now, for those of you who don't know, anytime you, you scan a planet, it'll give you a list of things there. You see how this is an overgrown planet, so it's not the one we're looking for. But underneath it, it says we have star bulbs, indium, paraffinium, and magnetized ferrite. You're going to be looking for, if you want an extreme storm, you want to look for a planet that has activated elements on it because... The only time a, a element can be activated is if it is extreme storms, all right? So this one, a barren planet with cactus flesh, that's going to be a dusty planet because it's going to be a dry planet, and it has activated indium. So that's going to be our our planet right there. You're looking for an activated element if you need something that has uh, extreme storms or something like that. Whoa, what is this? What do we... Trade frequency. Oh, wait a minute. We, we have a guy who wants to trade with us. Wow. All right, let's see what you got. Oh, he just wants to trade trade. Okay, let's see what if he has anything special. Oh, we can get Nip Nip. He has platinum. Descented pheromone bottle. Yeah, nothing really. I mean, you could get the platinum and refine that if you wanted to. Or your relics. But eh, we're good. We don't need anything from you. Let's continue on to our dusty planet. So let's see if anything happens with the egg. Come on. The planet signature matches the Void Egg's needs. Now it's giving us coordinates again. Plus 47 and plus 70, 177. So that's what we're looking for. I'm at plus 26, but I'm at negative 121. So we need to go. We need to go. Let's try west. Oh, we're getting close. So let's actually go to way down there. And as time progresses, they will reveal the whole set of coordinates, which is kind of nice. So we know we're right around here. 170. So... Let's actually park it. It's always easier to go on foot. 
So let's land. Boom. Because it's gonna be some kind of a monument or something like that, right? So let's actually see some kind of a building around here. I'm not seeing anything yet. That's okay. Let's actually keep going. We need to go to 177.4. Let's keep heading north a little bit. Nope. I think we got a building right over here. So let's go hit this building and see what's going on. Yep, I think it is. I can hear. I can hear different sounds, different music playing. So this has to be it right here. So let's check this one out. Archive of Corvex Prime. Retrieval in progress. Log follows. Partial success achieved. The bridge allows the implantation of consciousness shards within discrete shells. Unit remains connected to greater mind. Sensory input fully shared. Attempts to localize sensory inputs cause traumatic desperation. Unfruitful. Suspect biological core required. Root sensory experience and bodily experience to improve stability. System must have local control. Experimental synthesis unit operational. Awaiting biogenesis materials. The plaque replays more data from before the destruction of the Corvax Prime. Th these researchers were building something. A biological shell? An individual manifestation of their own convergent minds? Oh, I need a pulsating core, so let's leave. It might give me uh, a different recipe. These machines were built to synthesize life from advanced technology. I am once again supplied with the plans required, pushed on down this path by those who tried before. One of the plans is for a novel multi-tool upgrade, the solar ray. Wow. I need a solar ray. New product learned. I need, oh, a liquid sun. Biomechanical con construct. Okay, so I produce a pulsating core. So I have a tool for my multi-tool. Oh, I need to get rid of something. So we're going to get rid of my... Oh, God. What am I supposed to get rid of? We're going to get rid of the combat scope. Let's dismantle that thing. So now let's install the technology. We need a solar ray. Cobalt and magnetized ferrite. A highly specialized addition to the multi-tools mining capabilities transforms terrain deposits into liquid sun. Whoa! So let's do this. Transforming terrain deposits into liquid sun. Duh! Oh my god. I'm an idiot, you guys. I'm an idiot. So terrain deposits. So you need to go find, like, copper and silver. You need to find deposits in order to do that. God! Such a fool. Sorry. I'm not reading. I'm just dumb. I'm just going on what I... What I think I need to do rather than paying attention. So let's come over here to the silver deposit. Recharge our solar ray with some sodium nitrate. And let's do it. And I'm, I'm guessing it needs to be metal. That's why there's silver all over the place. And I'm, I'm sure that uh, copper would do that as well. Hey, really? Dude. Yeah. I I, oh, he crawled out. I was going to say, I hope you live, live in a hole. Okay. Oh, and it actually, it has different sizes. So technically, you can go up and down like the terrain manipulator. See how you have bubbles? So the smaller one would probably give you more, more bang for the buck. Okay. So let's actually go find another deposit before this, uh, this animal decides to kill me. Get that shiny part. Liquid sun. I like that. It's a new item. I'm guessing you're probably going to be able to use these new items for other things as well. So, I would suggest while you're doing this, stock up. Now let's craft the, uh... Oh, I need, uh, gold! Dang it, I need gold. I think I have gold in my spaceship. Alright, I, I should have gold in here. So now let's try this out, since I have the gold I need. Pulsating core! Liquid sun, heck yeah, I don't need the feline liver, we're good. So now I have a pulsating core. I need to go put it back or give it back to the money, the alien plaque. Let's give it. 
There you go. Awaiting biogenesis material. Insert the pulsating core. As the machine begins its work, I feel the egg twitch within my exosuit. It is responsible for activating these machines. It, its imprint is upon the life I am creating. Wow, rare item found. A fragile heart. So now I need to wait again. Oh, I need another 23 hours. All right, so just like last time, guys, make a save. And then if you were going to glitch it out, now that we have a manual save, we need to exit the game and set our clock forward one day. So I will see you in a minute.